Hello and welcome back to Sunday Sunday, where we sail the Sunday Sea with me, Barden and Lady Sakura. Okay, so we're going to collect our messages from the Harbour Master. Uh, let's see now, next. We want to go and see the Admiral. Where are you, Admiral? You're going to be in London, right? Okay, so we'll deliver claim in that we have. One by one they rise, uncomplainingly, with no trace of stiffness or discomfort from the long voyage. The deck resounds beneath their heavy thread. A shroom-yard manager waits in the dock, tapping her foot. About time, she says. Here's your payment. Come along now, you. That's a good contract. Okay, we don't get the full amount because we left one dude. Okay, now. Um, let's put our ship into dry dock. Now we'll use this one. Okay, pull this fully repaired. Then we want to speak with the Admiralty. Where are we here? Ah, there we are. Okay, so uh, let's pass on some treaty information. The Admiral sits up, although he steeples his fingers and pretends calm. Invisible eyes. He's hard to read with those glasses, but he reads the summary intently. Satisfactory, he says at last. Eminently satisfactory, actually. Good work. Take this for your trouble. The clerk will see you paid. So we get some cash out of that, which is important, because cash is not really great for us at the moment. Okay, now, um, port reports. Yep, yeah. submit those. We can't be keeping any of them at the moment because we definitely need all the fuel and all the cash we can get. Yeah, we went to a lot of places this time. There's some I hadn't realized we'd actually made it to. Okay, then let's ask if there's anything particularly needs. Um, from Cumin Canal, okay, we can do that. Right, so that bit is done. We then deliver our trinkets. Still a firmly sealed crate of what are absolutely not sour spider eggs. Well, that's really. Or maybe you just got lucky. Either way, they made it. So did you. What was the address of the crate? Somerset College? On second thought, this hardly matters. We've got some cash out of that. Um, let's see. Alarming Scholar. We can sell you some stuff. Um, yeah, we'll sell you one of those. Sell you one of these as well. Yeah, that's gives thousand echoes that helps out the financial situation a lot okay um 
could sell our live specimen. I think we need that for something though, right? And um, we'll keep the intriguing snippet because that helps us with um, getting getting other things as well. So um, like if we want to get the, what is it? It's like recent news, right? If we want to get um, blessings and stuff, we can use it. Right. Uh, so then the next thing is to, so we've got things repaired. We need to get ready for the next Thing that we're going to do so so we got a serpent trap we got a mirror catch box full of very angry dream snakes as well so does this get used with this maybe I'm not too sure but we've got you as well you want to get the principal coral um we've got two life specimens we've got nine sacks of coffee we need to get more of those prisoner honey we also need so we've got to the shops Let's see, um, this, no, this one. Yeah, I want to get, um, some mushroom one. I'm going to get two of those. Okay. I'm not going to buy crates of souls. Um, uh, let's see. I'm going to come back to you. I'm then going to buy 10 and 10 that's up to 55 right uh then 10 10 that leaves us four then again get the rest with those so do i sell some other stuff off to make room is the thing what's this dune monster hunter Do something with you as well. The monster hunter winnows the lesser terrors from the true. She has slain that which makes light in the deeps, eaten his flesh in remembrance of certain feasts of the sea, and fashioned her weapons from its remains. She was human once, but the monster hunter is ready for a glorious ending. Icarus in black awaits. Okay, it's interesting for you. Right, um. Could sell the watchful curio and keep the wakeful idols, maybe. Give us one more slot. Should have really um, used those on the last voyage. It would have been a really good idea. Um, let's go to shops and see if we can sell. We can't, no, so. See down here. Oh, we've just got to um, stick with what we've got. Which means that um, we're probably going to have to spend money again on the voyage, keeping our supplies and our fuel topped up. Um, but I would rather have more. Let's see, is there anything that we really. So we could sell that. That's certainly possible. We sell some of this. Um, it's kind of tough. It's a tough ask because I'm not sure whether seven of these can candles is going to be enough. But um, I guess we right. I'm going to sell all of these, and then I'm going to use the rest to buy candles. And then that should be enough candles to do what we want to do, hopefully. Okay. If that's that done, then we go to our lodgings and we rest in our elegant townhouse. Take the air in Tyrant's gardens. Take coffee at Caligula's coffee house. Take advantage of a Z captain's reputation. You get used to this. Okay. Um, so we lose a hundred echoes. We lose 15 terror. Um, okay, now, what else have we got? Uh, the Labyrinth of Tigers, 
sell Wonder Life specimens for 125 echoes. Let's do that. Okay, then now we have more space. And again, we're going to buy one of those. Okay. Then let's just check London again. So we could go carousing. We're not going to do that. We're, we should hire some more crew though. Yes, we've got two crew out of that. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Shit. Okay, well, we did it anyway. And we now have um, recent news. Um, someone's name you do not you do not afterwards recall. Your only love is the Z. You'll take comfort when you find it. But that's all it is. Okay, we lose two more terror. Yeah, I didn't mean to that. I'm supposed to be doing this. Okay, up to 26. Um, I want to get to max, so we'll just do that. And get, yeah. Okay. Then you need seven visions of the surface. We don't have enough just yet, so we'll come back to you when we do. Okay. Um, do we then have everything that we need? I think we do. So we're going to set off. I'm going to go our user route, which is um, up via low barnet um, and kind of up towards the northern part of the map. Then we see how much we do, but we do need to remember that we need to get to the Cumin Canal as well on this voyage. So it means not being too badly um, in too bad of a shape towards the end so that we can actually achieve that. Let's get ourselves under the water. And the aim at the moment is to try and get our hands on a Syrian Enigma. church we get our, our port report there's no pulpit the organ has bent broken pipes but no barnet is still a house of worship of a sort groups of sailors gather in the aisles the choir benches are clean and face a makeshift stage lantern-eyed fish pass behind colorful windows of stained glass the door to the bell tower is guarded by two burly virgins the tridents are a nice touch okay and then we'll just leave here because we can't swap the stories yet We've basically got to um, go to all the undersea places, the, all the other undersea places. And I think swap all of the stories at the same in the same visit. So it mean, yeah, it mean um, making sure that we visit everywhere else um, that you can get to with the submarine. But for now, we'll just continue on. On this part, so we get ourselves to um, the tomb colonies. Dust echoes, even a sepia tint in the air. These are the waters around the tomb colonies. The air trembles, a breath of change passes. Okay, I don't think there's going to be um, sea bats flying about up here might be um, a bit further north today let's 
swing around here. Press out into port. Okay, so I'm gonna um, gather gossip first. Who's planning what out in the tomb colonies? Along the coast of the undersea, it's remarkably hard to die. The decrepit and nearly dead who leave London become tomb colonists and settle here and bandage peace. But they don't give up their ties to home or their politics. You gather a haul of complex clues, enough to keep the context in London interested. Okay, and then um, let's explore, see what we get. Here they favour candlelight over gaslight. The shadows of swag like cobwebs. The tomb colonists stand still enough to be mistaken for sculpture, till they laugh or cough. One building of three seems abandoned. The Lamplighter's Arcade. Here they sell copper jewellery, grimacing little faces and squat rectangular figures. A tradition from before London, they claim. You part with a few small coins for a cheery looking thing with an expression like a tipsy bat. Perhaps it will bring you good dreams. Okay, so we lose one terror. That's decent. Right, and uh, then... Shops wise, we could sell. No, we're not going to do that. Um, we can get some more supplies if we want. It's expensive. What have we got in here then? We could sell a recent news or a vision of the surface or some of our um, members of the distant shore. We don't want to do that. Um, oh, we don't have one. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I think we just leave it for now. Although we do have nine spaces. But I think we can get better prices elsewhere. So yeah, we'll just leave it there. Okay. And we're actually going to leave the episode there as well. So I hope you have enjoyed. Hope you're keeping safe and hope to see you next time. Goodbye. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe you'll hit the subscribe button there on the right and check out some other videos here on the left.